Hi everyone, this is Jamie from Painted Lady Tarot, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the Tarot Pierre Madigny 1709. This is a beautiful restoration done by Yves Renault. They are a limited edition. Let's just start immediately. Let's just talk about the awesome box. So they come in this beautiful telescopic box. Card master and engraver in Dijon, France from 1709 till 1740. So I'll read the side here. Limited edition. One of the oldest and most beautiful model known of the tarot set of Marseille based on the unique complete deck preserved in the Swiss National Museum in Zurich. Here we go. So... Let's have a look at this beautiful, beautiful deck. Now, this is Type 2 titled Marseille. The first thing you notice here, I open it up. Hold on. You get this beautiful little, hi there, thanks for buying my deck, from Eve. Love him. And we get two cards. They basically, one's in English, one's in French, and they explain a bit more about the deck. I'll zoom in. So if you want to read it, you can just pause that and have a closer look. And then the cards. Now, the awesome thing about this deck is it comes basically wrapped. And this is the way that the cards would have been if you'd bought them in 1709. They would have come wrapped. This really beautiful paper. Carte fin en tarot, fait par Pierre Madinier, de mère proche, la cimetière Notre-Dame à Dijon. Basically, it says, hey, these are some beautiful uh, tarot cards made by Pierre, who lived near this cemetery. Very important information. So, we'll open these up. And we start with Le Mans. Le Patelin. La Papesse. L'Imperatrice. L'Empereur, le Pape, l'Amoureux, le Chariot, Justice, l'Ermite, la Route de Fortune, La Force, Le Pendu, and of course the unnamed card, number 13, which is Death, Le Mal, Tempérance, Le Diable, La Maison Dieu. It always looks like confetti, like it's a huge party. I love it. L'étoile, la lune, le soleil, le jugement, le monde. So that's it basically for our major arcana. I'll put these aside. I really love the color palette that, that was used for these cards. And let me just say, they're... They're really thick. I don't know if you can see it in here, but these are a beautiful, thick cardstock. They're not flimsy at all. Uh, the super pointy, sharp edges, which is very traditional of uh, the old Marseille decks. They're kind of like little ninja stars. I love them. And here we have the deniers. Oh, and also you'll notice uh, with the Denise, none of them are numbered, which when you're putting them in order is irritating because then I actually have to count. But they're not numbered for the Denise or Pentacles, whatever you want to call them. Of course, we have our Valet, Cavani, Reine, and the Roi. Let me come to the Cups, which I just 
just love I always love the ace of cups is probably one of my favorite for the for the pip cards Our valet, the cavalier, the reine, and the roi. And we have our swords, which, like I've said before, it's very tricky. If you look here, look at the swords. Sorry, uh, yeah, we've got our swords here, but if you look at the, see the wands. They're very similar. Sometimes it's a little bit trickier. Even if you look at to have that scimitar in both of them, it can be confusing. The easy way to remember is that these swords will be bent. The batons or the wands are always straight. The swords always have that curve. Except, of course, when you have the middle one, obviously. Our wands or the baton. Like I said, straight, so we know we're talking about wands and not swords. Last but not least, the King of Wands, Les Batons. So, let's talk some more about some of this cardstock here, just because they are a, actually a pleasure to shuffle. They're a good size too. Look at that. Quite thick, quite sturdy. Uh, I'm not worried about shuffling them. I'm not worried that uh, I'm going to break them. I'm, I'm not going to riffle shuffle them or anything, just because I really don't do that with any of my decks. But um, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. Not too shiny, not too matte. They're in a happy place in the middle. The back, and I believe that this is the back on the on the museum edition, so the actual museum uh, copy, so the original cards. It's kind of got, it's like a geometric thing with a cross in the middle. Of course, we do see crosses all over these decks. Okay, so we have that there. Now, if you'd like to get yourself a copy of this, you can head on over to, it's uh, tattledmasseheritage.com. I will, put a link in the description uh, for this particular edition hang on we're looking here there were 1500 yeah limited edition to 1500 copies this was number 280 I encourage you to go and get a copy of this beautiful historical reproduction I just absolutely love it everything that Eve puts out is just fantastic so hope you like this video and uh, yeah run on out and get yourself a copy have a great day bye